Hello and welcome to Soulstone Survivors, everybody. Uh, today, a major update was released. They call it a new beginning because um, they refactored a lot of things, a lot of skills. They added a lot of things. Um, and this was one of my favorite games when it released. And they've been putting out, um, I mean, the updates are kind of slow, but they're consistent and they're always great. So uh, if you haven't played it before, make sure to check it out. Um, I I've unlocked a lot of stuff since the original, but they keep adding stuff and, and expanding skill trees and, and new skill types and whatnot. So I still have plenty to unlock. Um, I'm just going to real quick go through a couple of the changes on this latest update today. Uh, that's the 28th of March. So they've added a new character, the Monkey King, a new skill type, Earth, a new Ascension, Twilight Harmony, new skills, and a massive overhaul of existing skills, which this update brings 50 entirely new skills, but also changes how all, it says almost all the existing 250 skills in the game work uh, adds uh, stackable buffs which is a new system uh, new weapons and major changes to all characters massive rune rebalance runes are kind of like uh, run modifiers in a way but they're kind of passives and whatnot that you can add on as you unlock them to your run there's new power-ups uh, enemies have all been rebalanced from the ground up curses have been reworked they have a uh, overlord arena mode has been reworked and other than that they have uh, tons of new ui and usability improvements which is is nice because the uh, UI navigation with the, with the controller was not great for the longest time. Um, sometimes you couldn't select things or just be a hassle to get through different uh, menu buttons and whatnot. So I'm excited to see how that's working now. And they've also uh, started the Easter season, as you can tell by the Easter eggs in the background. So again, if you haven't ever played this and you like kind of survivor-like games, um, this one is honestly really good. Uh, and I think it's what, maybe 20 bucks? Oh no, it's even cheaper. It's on sale right now for 30% off for seven bucks, normally $10. Um, absolutely absolutely worth it i highly recommend this game but let's jump in um and let's see here so there's the new character which i have not unlocked yet I, oh did i unlock it i can't tell so okay i can unlock it for 10 yellow stones i'm gonna go ahead and lock it get that achievement out the way we'll use um should we use him now it's like he's an earth what is this a blast it's like a blast weapon and to unlock the other weapons oh yeah and each character has different weapons that cost uh, materials to unlock each weapon comes with its own special skill and there's a rune that allows it to come with a weapon special skill as well and they all have different elements of what uh, kind of skills they're good for synergies with and whatnot um, so if we look over at the monkey king yeah, so you have to reach certain levels to unlock the new weapons and then get the materials to craft them. The runes have been reworked, so I'll have to kind of go through these and equip what I feel will be good, but there's a lot of them. And then, I mean, the skill tree is just huge. I don't know if we can... I'm not sure how to... Let's see here. How do we... Those are the menus, but how do we get to... The next ah X okay where does it oh down okay I didn't see those they kind of blend in bottom left and bottom right select character so for example if we go to the death knight right he's got his own skill and then you can expand it even further past these little uh, crystal looking things go up to here I mean they've just got a ton of different skills to unlock for each character it's just, I mean, the, the game is great, honestly. And then achievements, uh, and some of these achievements will also unlock certain things that are locked behind. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, that's what it is. So complete this, it gives a new active skill. Uh, you know, unlocks weapons. Unlocks maps. So yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, new character appearances. I think every achievement unlocks something for you as well. Right now I've got 259 of 298 achievements done. So you can tell how much I played this game. I don't know if it'll show on my profile or not. I've completed 162 runs. Let's go test out this um, Monkey King. Oh, and actually I should, oh, they have rune presets now? Oh, oh, they have five presets of runes for each character as well, which is awesome. So, okay, let's check out uh let's check out these runes and see what we can run with we're gonna want probably something with blast or earth uh for sure 
increases the chance the active skills of a certain type will be offered to you when you level up. That's probably, that's worth it. Especially at, z um, oh, we need to unlock the earth one. If that's the case, let's do blast because it looks like this uh, weapon that we have for the character right now is blast. And they cost zero runic power, which is interesting. Um, what are these? All skills of all characters and weapons that you haven't already unlocked will be added to the them. Yeah, definitely want to have the uh, special weapon skill. And what do we have for last here? I know we probably want to use the dash speed, especially because that only costs one runic power. Skills can now be picked up multiple times. Oh, that's cool. This is all damage. Increase the damage. 8% per some unit. Yep, here we go. This increases the uh, chance of getting synergetic abilities, which is awesome. Let's look up for something with blast, maybe. All your damaging negative effects deal damage 50% more often. That sounds kind of nice. Increase your critical damage chance by 25%. I think there's one that was like a 100% chance of critical damage, but maybe not. 25% of your critical chance is added to your critical damage multiplier when calculating critical damage, including bonus critical chance from negative effects. So that's pretty nice. Let's take that. And we have enough, seven, eight, yeah, we have enough. So let's grab this. And then we have enough for one more that doesn't cost anything. So I say you are guaranteed to be offered only skills that contain a certain type skill type the first time you are offered active skills. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Let's grab that with blast as well. Okay, so we've got our rune selected. Now, this guy is literally level one. I don't know how good we're gonna do. And so here you have, um, there's curses. Each one does a, adds a different uh, modifier to the run. And the more you add, the higher up levels you can go. Ending at, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, curse level seven. It does give you bonuses, but it also makes the enemies a lot harder. So as you can see here, we're on, we have selected uh, curse intensity 38. So it increases their health, their damage, their speed. And then it also adds all these modifiers. So it, it can get really difficult um, if you don't have a good build or don't get good active skills. Uh, I think I'm going to drop down to maybe curse three. Let's try this and we'll see how we do. Okay, so you do aim. If you're using a control, you aim with the right stick. It also has an option in the settings to auto aim to the closest enemy for you. And I need to remember, I think, yeah, LB I assigned to be my dash. You can also get um, skills that increase the number of dashes you can uh, use. Yep, here we go. Swift power or swift dash count plus one. So now I can dash twice if I need to. And so far we're doing pretty good with this. Uh, Standard weapon. All right. So we've got seismic shock, groundbreak, rolling boulder. That one is new. Groundbreak might be two, actually. Um, let's see. Stun would be nice. I don't know. Okay, prowess increase the damage modifier by 10%. Actually, Seismic Shock, I think I'm going to go for Seismic Shock. So the, the basic uh, premise is you jump in the run, and as you kill enemies, you build up the meter to spawn the, the boss enemies. And depending on what curse level you are is how many bosses... Um, enemies you'll need to kill so it starts off i think there's like one or uh, one spawns and you need to kill three different bosses throughout the run eventually to get to like two or three spawn at a time and you have to kill i think six waves of three and of course their health and damage or everything is, is way higher um let's go with fortifying damage i think that'll be best for now we're not really getting hit yet so we don't have to worry about upping our health Oh, that may change here pretty soon. 
Let me get rid of these ranged guys. And I think I, I do have, um, oh wow, we might as well take another di dash. I think I have the skill visuals turned off. Uh, let's see, graphics. Oh no, they're on, okay. Yeah, I think eventually I turned them off because it was just getting a little too crazy. I couldn't really uh, see anything. I did want to make sure I had them on for y'all just to see. At least in the beginning. Okay. Um, we don't really want any of these, necessarily. Shrapnel Bomb isn't bad, but I'm going to re-roll. Well... Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll and look for something we can use that as blast. Cause what, I mean, do we have... Or slam, I guess, is what we want, right? Uh, let's try again. I wanna use all our re-rolls already. We can always swap skills later. Um, but let's try, okay, Shockwave Totem is good. Or it was good. Um, it kind of ups you. It, okay, summons totems at your position for a few seconds that fire shockwaves at nearby enemies, causing damage. Oh, wait. Maybe not shockwave is what I'm thinking of. Maybe I'm thinking of um, a different totem. Slams the ground around you, causing damage and applying shattered. Gain prowess. Let's go with. Uh, I want to try totem, but let's go with um, shatter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, block that yet. See, these guys are speeding up. Okay, I think let's grab magnetic. And pick up all the uh, XP resources a little easier. And let's go expansive, which is going to uh, increase the area of effect and add bigger, bigger projectiles. 50% more AOE. Okay, slams the ground around you, causing damage. I think we're going to go with Resonant Slam here. Okay, and what is... Oh, yep, and here comes... The, wow, they that's different too. They kind of changed the uh, spawn-in appearance. Or spawn-in animations. Um, let's go with block power here. Oh, so you have to kind of break their shell to, whoa. Attack speed for massive slam, let's do it. That'll cast 30% more often. And we're doing a good amount of damage here to the boss. What do we got here? Shoots a petrified projectile in the target direction, causing damage. Um, we got two more rerolls, so let's reroll here. And we'll just go body slam, I suppose. All right, took out one. They'll drop these uh, crystals that act as a magnet to grab all the uh, resources that are on the map at that point when you grab it, which is nice. Let's take uh, critical damage plus 24%. Um, Battle stance is new, so anybody, any enemies within 5 meters get a 72% critical damage increase against, should I just say, so sounds good to me. Just need to try to take this boss out and then we have one more. Okay, he's, yep, he's done. Let's grab that. Power conductor sounds awesome, but I don't really need that. So once you're at um, six skills, which I think it used to be five. I can't remember for sure. Once you're, you're full on skills here at the bottom, you can hit LB, which will re replace all skill choices with passive power-ups. Um, so we're definitely gonna go with Relentless, which is a plus 15% increase to our skill use. So we'll use all skills 50% more. Ok, 
Get rid of these snake guys. Because they can definitely cause a lot of damage. Um... And I think this, yeah, we're definitely going to take multicast, plus 12% chance to activate multiple skills at once. Alright, took that last boss out. Okay, yeah, so you can see at the top right there, there's 15 Lords of the Void that we'll have to fight during this run to finish it. It's increased our damage. Um, and it'll also tell you how many monsters you have left to kill before the next wave of bosses spawn. So right now we're at 87 of 450. Um, I think I'm happy with what we've got right now for skills. So, okay, yeah, plus 40% increase to any frontal skills. And it'll highlight, if you look down here at the skills, it'll highlight which ones will be affected by this. And that's four out of six skills, so let's take that. I wonder if we're going to be able to hit level 10 after this run and um, get our first weapon crafted for this character. Okay, damage increase for spinning staff or damage increase for body slam. Let's go spinning staff, I think. Yeah, let's go spinning staff. Now you can also save up your skill level ups. Um, there's an option to not automatically use them. Uh, let's go plus 45% damage increase to resonant slam. That'll bring it up to level two as well, I believe. Yep. So yeah, if you don't, if you want to kind of save up your level ups for whatever reason, uh, you can do that as well. All right. oh, oh, I got hit there. I mean, we're close, about a hundred more to spawn the next wave of bosses. Um, and let's take, let's take plus twenty-five percent damage overall. Well. Damn, that's plus 60% damage to spinning staff. Uh, let's take the overall damage. And the gold enemies, I mean, they are elites, but they also drop more um, XP resources. Increases the multi-cast cha cha chance of the spinning staff by 48%, or increase the damage modifier to 75%. Damn. I think still we're going to go with multicast. Multicast is honestly really good. Um, for most skills, if not all of the skills. And yep, so if you see here, there's that little green um, resource that will give you health. There's also other resources on the map. Um, different kind of gems and whatnot that you want to grab to help you uh, craft weapons and unlock uh, skills and characters and whatnot. You can see what we've got on the left there. The three different resources we've gathered so far. Uh, plus 60% critical damage is probably what we want to take. So yeah, let's take that. Every everything there was worth uh, worth grabbing, but I'm gonna take that. This guy's almost dead. There we go. Let's uh, break out another enemy here. And here's a little resource totem. Uh, let's grab... Yeah, plus 20 area modifier is nice. There's some more resources that we just smashed there. Alright, so let's do... 84% critical damage. And as far as I know, um, every character also has its own kind of like uh, resource that you can unlock through the skill tree. Eventually, it's kind of like an additional power. I don't, I don't know for sure. I don't want to say that every single one has it right now, but I, I know they're planning on adding one to every single character. I know quite a few have them right now. 
Alright, let's grab- oh, I missed that gem. Let's go grab that. Increase your damage modifier against far away enemies. Um, 445 health. Let's, let's take the tactical advantage. Man, that, uh, that shockwave is really doing work. Alright, what's up here? Let's grab this totem. I don't even know what uh, resources we n really need right now. Each each map has different uh, different resources. Just grab whatever we see for now. I don't need that health rock right now, so we can probably leave it as is. Save it for when we really need it. But I do need... Uh, do need some more damage here soon. Some of these guys are tanking our shit. Okay, what do we got? Cause more damage but move slower. I really don't ever take that. Sometimes it's useful if you have a ton of like uh, AOE, AOE skills that, that um, tar target on you, right? And kind of follow you around, that's useful. Otherwise, I usually don't take it. Um, I think we up our cast frequency by 20%. And I can't believe how lucky we got getting the extra dashes back to back like that right when I was trying to explain them. This is really, really useful. Especially at the, the end, um, towards the end of a run, when you really have to dodge because there's AoEs going off everywhere. Um, this will up the area modifier by 40% of two of our skills. I think, um, I think this would be worth it. Okay, so, oh wait, we didn't kill that last Lord of the Void, did we? Yeah, that's, uh, that's my fault. I completely forgot to do that. Where is he at? Oh, he's up here. There we go. There's two of them, yep. That's my fault. Doing alright damage to him. All right, got one. Um, let's do 30% damage increase to massive slam. And definitely taking the multicast chance by, ah, uh, that's for armor shatter. Yeah, let's, yeah, still gonna take it. I wonder what that kind of purple bolt was going from the, uh, the dead Lord of the Void to the Frozen one. Not sure what that means. I haven't seen that before. I don't know if it powers them up or it just starts breaking their, their, you know, un unfreezing them basically. All right. Really put in some work on that one. Took highest chance by 60% or 75% increased damage for Resonance Slam. Let's do damage increase. Damage increase can never, never hurt. And we honestly probably could have done a higher uh, curse level. I was just worried since we had never used this character before. Okay, so we need to kill 550 enemies to get the next round of bosses. We got two more waves of it of uh, bosses to finish this run. Right, uh, 45% damage increase to Seismic Shock or 30% area to Armor Shatter. Let's do Seismic Shock, that one's still level 2. So we want to get that one up a little bit. I'm going to try to slide through here and grab some uh, of those gems. Or the XP drops, I should say. And let's go break this open. Okay. We're at full health, so we still got to... Uh, we we're at for health. We got hit once. We've got still got a um, a healing crystal over there that we can grab if we end up needing it. Let's go through and grab some of this XP. Uh, 
don't need any of these. Let's see here. Let's up. Uh, let's take the, the critical damage. 108% increase to critical damage. Alright, and we've got the next set of Lords of the Void here. So let's just open one of these up and take him out. Yeah, we starting to get crazy here. Okay, increase the damage modifier by 50% for... Okay, this affects all of them, which is awesome. So, yeah, definitely taking that. That was a huge bonus for us. Um, same thing with this one, plus 80% area modifier for two of our skills. Is also huge, so let's take that. I don't need any of these. 30% cast frequency, definitely taking that. I can tell they definitely kind of reworked these bosses because this guy used to just spam that poison shit everywhere. You could barely move without walking in poison when he was alive. Ooh, got hit there. Although maybe he just wasn't spamming it that crazy because uh, it's not that I have a curse level. That could also be true. Um, We don't need armor power, so let's take the plus 20% area modifier. Okay, there's some, there's a big guy over there. Two big guys right there. Three big guys right there. All right, got him down. Let's grab these XP's. Um, increase your critical damage modifier against nearby enemies. That's plus 144% critical damage. So definitely grabbing that for anybody within five meters. Uh, let's go grab this totem here, or this, this resource. Okay, how are we looking? We need to kill 600 enemies, and then this will be the last round of Lords of the Void that we have to take out once these spawn. Oh, he walked, dashed right into both of those. All right, don't need any of these. Um, let's take the chance of blocking plus sixteen. Chance to block attacks. Out of those options, that was probably the best. We, we Again, we really don't need increased movement speed right now. We're doing okay with all our dashes to get, get us around, so... Oh, wow. But we were half health. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe we did need some movement speed there. I didn't realize we were getting fucked up like that. Let's go down here. Let's grab this. If we can, this thing is taking some damage. There we go. All right, and get out of that circle of tra trap. Grab all these. All right, definitely taking the uh, multicast. 20 plus 20 percent chance to multicast all of our skills. Extremely useful in damage dealing. Let's break this guy open. Oh, we. Uh, who do we break open? Ah, this guy. Oh, no, not that guy. Who do we break open? Uh, I don't know. There's an enemy somewhere. Ah, here we go. The fire. Okay. Ah, we're on fire. Alright, we dodged it. Okay. Um... 
think da, 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 I think cast frequency will be better right now. So let's grab that. Maybe even more health would have been uh, kind of safe to grab, but I think we'll be okay. Let's grab this gem. And the color of the boss gems are also used for unlocks and crafting. So another thing to, to make notice of. Kind of going in a circle, dealing as much damage as we can. 90% uh, damage increase to seismic shock. Sounds great to me. All right, and then that was the last one. Cool. So once you finish a level or a run, if you complete it in a, a quick enough time, you'll get these other options. You can go on for an infinite run until you die. And then there's the, this is the, I think, Overlord Arena run. Um, I don't really remember what the difference is. I think this one just gets harder quicker, I, I believe. And then the blue one will just end the, end the run for you. So let's go ahead and jump into the Overlord Arena one. Oh, and we did hit level 10. Perfect. Yeah, so I don't remember... Actually, this is... Oh, yeah, they reworked this, actually. So, it used to be different. It used to be basically like a, doing more runs, kind of like endless, but a, a different somehow that I can't really remember. But this will be interesting. I don't know if we're going to survive this very long, but we'll see. Um, let's take the uh, plus 30% damage. Okay, there's it's like poison all over the place here. Uh, let's see here. I think uh, area modifier of that skill will be fine. Here comes some Lords of the Void. Let's see how much, how tough these guys are compared to the ones we were battling. Oh, not too bad. I think we'll be all right for a bit, actually. Um, let's see. Plus 54% damage to any enemies 12 meters past. Yeah, take it. All right, let's try to get this. Hmm. The arena is small, so I don't know that we necessarily need... I mean, it does add... It does give us 30% more XP per pickup as well, which is nice. Uh, but we can also get plus 45% increased damage, so... Because this arena is so small, I think we'll be okay without that. At least for now. We'll, we'll see. But I don't think we're having... Uh, we're going to have any difficulty grabbing the dropped uh, experience. Okay, cast frequency plus 50% or plus 30% of just the spinning staff or plus 6% damage of spinning staff. Huh, let's go, let's go with the uh, plus 50% cast frequency, I think. And where's this other? Oh, there it is. So we can't get a little closer. Now, this one's hard because she's got that huge area of attack. All right. And plus six percent cast frequency is probably what we want for now. Oh, going the wrong way. Let me get around this guy so we didn't hit us with that laser beam. Got him. Nice. Grab this. We're level 48 right now. Okay, and there's some resources for us.
Every time you apply resilience, you have a chance to gain form, increase the critical damage chance by 1% for 6 seconds. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's okay. Let's try it. I can also start banishing certain skills. I should have been doing that a while ago. I have five skills that I can banish. To make sure we don't ever receive those in a roll. Um, and I know there's some that I'm never going to use, so I might as well start using that. Might help increase our chance of getting uh, legendary passives. Here we go. Increase the multi chance, multi cast chance of the skill resonance slam by 60%, which is super nice. I don't know why I was looking at the other ones. I know we're going to take that one. Oh, so, okay, so I wonder, can we own... Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yep, all right, we died just now. Um, but if you look in the bottom right, that little cross with the one above it, or in front of it, that's um, how many revives we have. So we start out... With two, or I guess resurrections, revive resurrections, whatever, it's the same thing, right? We start out with two of those. And maybe we should take the movement speed, especially plus 30% might be kind of nice. So, yeah, maybe we can only break out one boss at a time now? I'm not sure. They used to just spawn in and immediately start attacking, and it would get really hectic, but I mean, I guess I was used to it. But this is kind of nice, actually. I'm enjoying the, uh, the fact that they don't just spawn in and immediately just start killing the shit out of you. Um, let's take the movement speed again. It is nice. I didn't think we were ever going to grab that, but I was wrong. Ugh. Dodged. Nice. Alright, come on, guys. Oh, he's... Okay, there we go. Got him. We, can, uh, we did get hit, but that's okay. And what was uh, resilience increase the armor power by two? I mean, that's not... We don't necessarily need it, but... Let's grab it. It's new. It's interesting. Let's test it out. And so, yeah, at the bottom right of the screen, you can see all the runes we chose. And the bottom left, you can see the passive skills that we have currently. And how many of each one. Let's grab that stuff. And plenty of XP over here. Chance to cause critical damage is increased by 8%. Huh. Let's go with... Uh, expansive, maybe. Because you can, I mean, depending on how much you get, you can, like, your skills can take over the whole arena every time they cast, which is awesome. I mean, you see how big the uh, wave of, uh, on the spinning rod is now. Let's grab this XP and then we'll focus on killing this ice guy here. And again, we'll take Armored Assault. It gives us 2% chance to get the uh, form ability going. Take out Mr. Poison here. Alright, come on, come on. We can do it, we can do it. Got him. Alright. Pass over this poison and take out this one. Oh, that would have definitely hit us. I, I'm glad. I can't believe we blocked that. Oh yeah, this guy has that spinning sword thing. If you're not fast enough or you don't have enough dodges, that thing will rip you apart. Okay, yeah, so this one we're never going to take, so I'm going to banish this. Um, now... 
Let's do... Hmm... Maybe cast frequency up will be good, because we already have 28% multicast chance, so the more we cast, the more chance we have to multicast. I think once we get, uh, if, if we end up getting cast frequency up to 100% bonus, or plus 100%, then we'll start focusing again on, um, multicast chance, I think. Alright, let's get this and try to get this. Oh, who is this guy? I've seen him before, I don't think. Okay, tons of XP down here. Just kind of keep going in circles. That's all we can do in the arena. All right, what do we want? Let's do... Let's do damage modifier, plus 50% damage increase. And yeah, this guy's not taking any damn damage. Alright, we got more Lords of the Void here. And yeah, you see how hectic it can get when you have a ton of skills and all your skills have a increased AoE. And then multicast chance on top of that. It can get to the point where you really cannot see what the hell is going on. That's when it's nice to turn down the effects. I'm gonna go ahead and take Armor of Assault again. All right, that one's down. Let's grab the gem. Take out Mr. Ice over here. That's like a butcher. I haven't seen that one either. Let's, um, let's, uh, maybe we should take the plus 30 health for now. Just in case things start getting hectic. Okay, he's done. So we got the last one over here. And then we'll have one more round of Lords of the Void after this guy is dead. And yeah, the movement speed definitely helped us out. We're able to kind of walk without damaging and, or without d dashing, I mean, and dodge a lot of these um, AOE attacks, which is nice. And honestly, it would have probably made uh, the difference between life or death if we didn't have the, the plus two dashes. Definitely take an area effect plus 80% for four of our skills. Let's try to get this resource over here. One thing you have to pay attention to is if you're not close enough, once you smash like a resource rock, um, they will not get uh, added to your inventory. You have to be close enough to where you see them kind of float to you. And that's how you know you got them. And they will, they will stay there. I don't know if they'll stay there the entire round if you don't pick them up, but I know they'll stay there for a while to give you a chance, you know, if you need to get out of a, a group of enemies or something like that. Right, where are we? Level 60 now. All right, here's the last round of the Lords of the Void. Um, let's go ahead and take the... Hmm. Let's see here. We don't necessarily need any more movement speed. Um, yeah, I guess we could take 30% damage increase for Body Slam. Okay, we just... Yeah, I mean, I was stupid for trying to get all that XP. Took a bunch of damage there. We're alright. But... Wasn't uh, very smart. Could have just waited. 
grabbed it later. Not like I needed it necessarily. Alright, that one's dead. Okay, so maybe it's pointing to which one is gonna go, which one's gonna activate next, I guess. Oh my god. There you go. Shout out plus three dodges. Or plus two, I guess, technically. 30% cast frequency for seismic shock. Yeah, we'll take that. Just destroyed that guy. Alright, we do have a health. I thought we had a health, uh... Maybe not. I thought we had a health, uh... Ore over there somewhere, but... I guess I was wrong. Alright. Cool, we survived. Now we can go to the next level up, or we can leave. And I think we're gonna go to the next level up. Alright, we got level 20. Oh, and level 30. Saw the achievement. Yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah, we're fucking attacking so fast. You don't notice how fast you're attacking um, when well, the screen is filled with enemies, but Jesus. That's the great thing about this game, is it's like, it, it's not scared to give you power. Some of the, um... Let's... Let's take block power just to be safe on this one. Um, yeah, some of these, like, survivor lock games are, are... It's like they're scared to really give you power. Um... And as much as I enjoy... The, uh, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor... That was definitely one of those games that... It's like, it doesn't really want you to get powerful. It wants you to always kind of really be fighting for your life at every second. Um, okay. Uh, let's take the damage modifier. Uh, you know what? Let's take magnetic. It's plus 150% pickup area, plus uh, an additional 30% experience. I think that'll be good right now. Again, um, it's not like we're having trouble grabbing the experience, really, that's dropped around the map, but I think this will just make it a little easier and quicker for us to level up and increase our damage more, uh, increase our damage quicker overall. So, uh, let's grab fortifying damage on that. Oh, got hit with some fire rocks there. We, st we, we do still have one resurrection as well. But I don't know how many of these will survive, to be honest. Uh, I guess we'll take plus eight critical chance. Why not? Yeah, this guy's not going down nearly as fast as the last few rounds were. Okay, got another boss here. These guys are moving so fast. We are too, but... Man. Okay, um... Uh, let's take Armor of Assault, I guess. We have the life uh, ore right there, so grab that. Okay, we took that one out. We got the last one of this round, or this wave. Huh. Let's do maximum health. I think that'll put us at what, like 160? HP? All this damn poison on the ground. Alright, got him. Now, I didn't really look into what the Easter, um... Hmm... What do we want here? Let's, let's do that one. 
I didn't look into what the Easter season entails. I'm assuming there's Easter eggs around the map somewhere that you can grab. Um, but a lot of their past seasons had uh, really cool little special events that uh, you could trigger by doing certain things that would take you to, to, to new bosses and unlock new stuff. Um, like I remember one of the Christmas ones, if you fight on the winter map, you have to get the bosses and there's uh, four different colored circles on the map. You have to kill a boss in one of each of those circles. Um, as in, you know, make sure the boss is standing in the circle and kill the boss. But you have to do it in order uh, by color, like a certain color um, in order. So I don't know. I, I think I did finally get that one, but I, that man, it was tough. Especially because you had to, I think you had to be on a certain um, curse level to activate it. And it was not easy. But if I remember, I did do it. And there was another one where you would have these little uh, heart... I think it was a Valentine's Day update. It had these little heart-shaped totems that would pop up. And you had to break enough of those. And then it would spawn a secret enemy that was invincible. Unless you broke more of those heart totems. That's how you would damage it. Something like that. It, it was cool. It's, it's really, They do a lot of really cool stuff with this game. I can't... Again, I can't uh, recommend it enough. Alright, so we've got... Plus 48% multi-chance, multi-cast chance for body slam. Or plus two damage reduction. So all damage received is subtracted by two overall. Um, I think multi-cast chance will be good for now. We're doing a pretty good job of blocking and dodging damage. So as long as we don't get careless, I think we'll be all right. I don't want to necessarily break that health, um, whoa, health ore yet. I don't, I'm hoping I can keep that alive for a little, oh, well, there we go. Yeah, I didn't really need it, but in the arena, I mean, the area is so small, it's hard to. Okay, so let's check this out. Whirling defense. Quickly rotate your staff, causing damage and having a chance to gain prowess and resilience every 0.2 seconds. Um... This might be good to swap with something. What can we swap it with here? Maybe armor shatter? Yeah. Yeah, let's swap out armor shatter. Hopefully that wasn't a bad idea. But we'll see. Got so many fucking staffs everywhere. Uh. Okay, so it seems like resources from all maps can spawn on the arena map. Is what it seems like, because I feel like that was a resource from the snow map. Um, maybe we should re-roll this. You know what? No, let's just take multicast chance. Yeah, the only problem with taking that that uh that spinning staff skill is it's gonna be level one. This is level two now, but compared to everything else we had upgraded. I think uh, the one we swapped out was like what level six, level seven, something like that. Okay. Right, plus 50% chance fre cast frequency for seismic shock. I think that's good. Good enough for us. And I just thought about it. Hopefully this music is not blowing your eardrums out. I kind of feel... But I didn't really realize the music is like super loud right now. Actually, let me just turn that down. There we go. Yeah, if that was blowing out your eardrums, I apologize. 
Although maybe the fact that I just noticed means it wasn't that loud the whole time. Alright, let's try to grab that. Perfect. Um... Let's take the plus 100% cast for Seismic Shock. Whoa. Okay. Got two more rounds of Lords of the Fallen after this one. Oof. Got hit hard there. Getting intense. Okay, got him down. Let's try to break this uh, resource podium, podium, totem, whatever it's called. Okay. 30% area increase or 120% critical damage. Um, let's do an area increase, I think. be a ton of XP right there in the middle. Once we can get to it, I'm waiting for these little ice things to kind of despawn. Eventually. Hopefully. We have some more health over in there in the corner that we accidentally just broke. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's alright. Battle stance. Plus 40% damage for anything within 5 meters is... sounds good to me. Ugh. Yeah, that uh, extra couple dashes has really helped us out. Let's grab this gem. Sometimes it's hard to tell which which one of these enemies is the Lord of the Fallen. Oh my god. Alright, past those poisons. Alright, got him down. One more here. Hmm. Let's do plus 55% damage, I suppose. Oh, I missed the gem. Let's try to take that thing out. Did not happen. Okay. Let's loop around, try to take this thing out. Got it. Right, he's halfway dead. Oh, well, he's doing that damn sword spin. Thing is deadly, I'm telling you. Alright, got him. Let's go grab his gem. Okay. All right, what do we want here? Um, I guess plus 35% area modifier. I need to defeat 10 more monsters for the next round of Lords of the Void. And this will be the last round of them for this arena. But man, for a character that we had never used before, a fresh character, no skills, no nothing, um, we're doing really good. And this character is honestly pretty fun too. I enjoy his skills. I'm wondering how 
much better our build would have been if we would have took the um, the shockwave totem. Ah, uh, the attacks coming at every angle. Okay. Huh. Let's take. Mm, we're level eighty. Let's take magnetic. Okay, the next boss is here. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. And I'm getting close to, to, to turning off the uh, effects now. It's really hard to see the uh, and these damage, uh, damage cones. All right, got him down. We got one more. Try to get this resource broken. Oh my god, if we can. Ah! Okay, got it. Alright. Let's back out for a second and get a little breathing room. Alright, going back in. Where's the boss? Uh, definitely taking Relentless for sure. Plus 85% cast frequency. Oh, oh, we got it. Okay, nice. Okay. Let's go deeper. What do you think? Level three? I think we should do it. I think we should keep going until we die or don't beat it fast enough to go to the next level. All right, that took us to level 50 with the Monkey King. I think 10 more levels and we'll be able to unlock the... Um, all three weapons types for him, if we have the materials, that is. But yeah, these these guys are way tougher now. Way tougher. And the fucking <laughs> the skill effects are just crazy. Um, let's take armor and assault. And okay, I, I think yeah, y you guys see the um, the skill effects at this point, so. Let's turn those down for now. Okay. We're going to resume here. Yeah, way easier to see what we're doing. And that wasn't even, I mean, that wasn't even nearly as crazy as it can get with some skill setups. Increase the area modifier of the resonance slam. Let's take it. Let's see if we can grab. Yep, got that gem. Alright, we're still doing a good amount of damage. I didn't think we would be. This affects four of our skills, plus 40% damage modifier, so we definitely are taking that. 100%. This build, for us, really is just about damage at this point. Which it really has to be. I mean, we can up our survivability as much as we want, but if we're not doing enough damage, then it's kind of pointless. Because we will, I mean, you'll, eventually you'll just get overloaded with enemies, so... Or should I say, you'll get overloaded with en enemies and AoEs. Um, uh, let's do 120% increased damage to Seismic Shock. That skill uh, is put in work when it activates. Okay, is there one more? Or was that... Okay, no, no. We got all three so far. Let's see if we can get this resource up here. Alright, here comes the next round. 
Huh. Plus 50% ex extra experience or plus 120% critical damage. Let's do critical damage. There's also, um, I, I don't remember which character it is. One of them, and this one might too since it has slam. But one of them has this awesome um, knockdown effect with the, some of the skills that is so useful. Especially when the area is up, you're just knocking down a ton of enemies. Um, giving you a little breathing room. It's really nice. Okay, the only problem with this is we can't see which enemy is going to... Ah, here, what's this? Throws a growing staff in the target direction causing damage based on the number of stacks of prowess on you. Gain prowess. Hmm... Uh, let's see. Damn, this, yeah, see? Seismic Shock is doing almost 15k damage compared to 662 damage. Um, I don't want to mess up and, and swap any of these out that we really don't need to swap. But I also think it'll be cool to have a ton of just, a ton of um, staff skills. So... Maybe Resonance Slam? I mean, it's doing a good amount of damage, but... I don't know. I mean, we've already beat the run, right? So, it doesn't really matter that much. Mm. You know, let's, sw let's swap out Resonance Slam. Might be a mistake. Probably is, but let's do it. Even with the, the skill effects turned off, we're dropping frames here. It's just getting so hectic and it's got so much shit to calculate. But it used to be it used to be pretty bad from what I remember. I mean, I never really had a huge problem with it, but I know like a, a lot of lower end machines, before they um, fixed some, some things, um, it was almost getting unplayable at higher levels. Maybe it was unplayable at higher levels. Um, okay, let's take the cast frequency for Massive Slam. And we should have, yep, this last one here. All right, did pretty good actually, having swapped out one of our high level skills. Definitely gonna take multicast, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think multicast is gonna be what we take here. Hey. just dropped us to 24 frames per second. Oh my god. Maybe we can, um, you know what, let's turn off damage numbers for now as well. And, yeah. Oh, you know what? We need to turn up the rumble intensity. I've, I don't know why I've had this down the whole time. I'm using a, a, a controller. Although I'm not feeling any difference here, so... Oh my god, the frames! Turning off damage numbers did not seem to help. <laughs> but now I'm wondering what it will look like if we turn on the uh, skill effects again. Ooh, ooh, two, two uh, epic ones. So this will affect plus 80% of five of our six skills. And I think there's no way we take, we don't take this over multicast chance. There's no way. Okay, Let, let's, let's just, just for fun, let's see 
what it looks like with special effects all the way up. Just for fun. And wow, actually, our FPS went up. Oh, well, it did for a second. <laughs> but yeah, I can't see shit. I gotta turn it off, man. It was funny, though. Yeah, our, our frames per second went up to like 120 there for a bit. Maybe it's just waiting for everything to spawn back in for um, skill effects. Oh, we are half health. And we don't have any health to grab right now. Uh, let's try to grab this. There we go. We got it. That almost gave us a level up. Okay. Hmm. Take the armor power. All right, got him. We got what? Two more waves of Lords of the Fallen. I missed that damn gem twice trying to grab it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I mean, our AoE is so big that even when we can't see the boss on our map or on our screen, we're still just constantly damaging it. So it's really helpful. Okay, so I do feel the vibration. The vibration really only happens if you get damaged. Which I guess is good. How else were they going to do it to make it not overwhelming, right? Alright, next round of Lords of the Fallen is here. Um, should we just... just let's see. Let's, let's do critical chance. 12% increased critical chance. So we've got plenty of critical bonus critical damage. We need to be actually hitting crits to make it worth it. Or get use out of it, I guess. Oh! Can't believe we didn't get hit there. Alright, he's close to dead. About a fourth of life left here. Oh. Come on. Come on. Get him. Alright, got him. Let's try to loop around and grab his crystal. And start on the next one. Man. With one more round of enemies after this. Or bosses, I should say. I I'm surprised. I did not think we were going to survive this round. This level. Hmm. Let's take armored assault. Why not? We'll just keep taking that. More if there's nothing like uh, extremely m more worthwhile. Ah! We're getting trapped over here. We're getting tracked and trapped. Here we go. Try to stay near enough to... Alright, we did it. Oh, we did not. We got hit quite a bit right there, though. Ugh. That's another thing, too. Sometimes, after you get hit once, you can kind of, like, psych yourself out and just keep running right into damage pools and, and die stupidly like that. Um, but, I mean, it does. It kind of trips you up when you, when you know you shouldn't have dodged right there, but you do it anyways. I said we level up Expansive Throw. That's still level 5. Um, so let's level that up. Alright! One more round of Lords of the Fallen on this level. And I don't think there's, there's no way that we didn't hit level 70 by the end of this. If not already. Oh, actually, I'm, what am I thinking? We're at... 94 right now, so... <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I didn't put that together. All 
All right, last wave. Try to get this resource here and maybe this one if we can. Nope. Oh, that was close. Okay, where's which? Ah, oh, it's this guy. Damn sword spinner. Alfred. All right, let's grab this health. Here we go. You have 100% chance to deal a critical strike on enemies with full health. Oh, man, but this is really good, too. No, we got to take the 100% chance for critical strike. Oops. Stepped right into the, the poison there. All right, got him. Took a ton of damage, but that's okay. I'm excited to see how much um, improvement will happen after this by unlocking some of the uh, Monkey King skill tree options. All right, got him. It's level three, done. Okay, should we go level four? This run's already close to an hour, if not past an hour at this point, but let's do it. I wanna see how far we can go. We're at 95 right now, level 95. Tons of resources on that left side. We've got a ton of resources. Is our resonant slam back? Wants to come back. Um, has frequency plus 100% for seismic shock. Let's do it. Seismic shock is putting in work. Last time we looked, last round it was doing 15k damage. Base, base damage, I should say. Which was, you know, like 13k higher than any other skill we had at the time. Probably still is higher than any other skill we have. Um, let's take the max health. We've been okay, but it can't hurt. It seems like yeah, a couple of hits where we're at half health, and again we've been we've been doing all right to to grab another health uh, stone when it pops up, but not being half health after a couple of hits will be useful. Okay, critical chance, movement speed, or. Anything past 12 meters plus 12% critical chance. Let's take it. Ugh. I didn't have much, much option, much uh, choice of where to go there, really. Okay, I don't want to break that health thing yet, but I'm probably going to end up doing it on accident. All right, got him. Say we take damage modifier, I guess. Oh, we did accidentally break the, the health. It's okay, though. We should be able to kill this guy here. There we go. Let's try to get this. Yep. Got it. All right. Again, level five. We're, or level four. Sorry, I thought we were on level five. Level four. We're doing good still. Surprisingly. We just hit a level 100. Let's take pickup area this time. 
plus 50% bonus XP, uh, plus 250% uh, pickup area. Because we're still not picking up everything as easy as we could be. And now that we're at level 100, we probably need a little help in uh, getting some more level ups. Alright, what do we got here? Let's do... Let's do plus 50% multicast chance for every skill. Probably the best option there. Try to get behind him. Oh! Ay, 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 ay. AoE's everywhere. You know, I was just thinking, if we happen to roll Shockwave Totem... Maybe we should use it. Um... Could swap it out with Body Slam. <sighs> Since we're in the arena, I feel like it'll be really cool to at least test out now that we're doing okay. Let's swap out um, Body Slam with this. We'll lose some damage for a bit, but let's let's try it out. It, it was um, really, really good for a while. So let's see. Need to go around this way. Now we just need to get some um, some passives to level it up a bit for us. need to guide enemies towards it. I know there's, I, I think they're legendary, but legendary passives that will increase the amount of um, totems that drop. Let's take a... Uh, yeah, let's take cast frequency for seismic shock for sure, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Go three totems running. So maybe not. Maybe we don't need that. Maybe there's not a legendary that increases that anymore. I guess we'll find out, possibly. All right, that is the second round of Lords of the Void done. up the damage of expensive throw. That's still level 6. Oh my god. 15 frames per second now. This is getting hectic. Yeah. There we go. Much better, much better, much better. Alright, got one. <laughs> Back down to 16 frames. Leaves a gift on the ground that opens when triggered, releasing multiple bombs that cause damage, apply bleed, and weakness. That's cool. Uh, but I don't think we're gonna take that. Attack speed for seismic shock or attack speed for spinning staff? Definitely think we want to take Seismic Shock, because that's our damage dealer right now. Oh, I got hit there. Didn't mean to. Oh my god. Hopefully this is still, um, still watchable for you all. I know it's, it's a little, um, 
dizzying for me, but since I'm kind of, I think because it's like when you're driving a car, right? You don't really get motion sickness when you're driving because you know what's going to happen, where it's going to go, when it's going to turn. It's kind of the same thing for me. It's a little dizzying, but since I know when I'm going to dodge, um, which way I'm going to dodge and all that, it's not as bad as it probably would be otherwise. So I hope it's still watchable for y'all. If not, I completely understand. I guess we're going to take the damage modifier, plus 70% increased damage. Two more rounds of Lords of the Void. What level are we? 106. Yeah, we're not leveling up nearly as fast as we were. Dodge all these damn AoEs, but cl close enough to really do some damage to her. I think we did we get her? Yeah, we did. Okay. Let's jump up and grab that crystal. Still sitting at like 15 frames. Now we're at 120 again. Um. Let's up the level of speed. Spinning staff, or you know, 60 per plus 60 percent damage of spinning staff. All right, got that boss. I missed the damn gem, though. Oh my god, I gotta get out. That was. A lot of damage. Okay. Let's try to grab. There we go. Got it. Oh, we have... Uh, we have four dashes. I didn't even realize we have four. The little squares or diamonds below us. Below our character. That's how many dashes and what the... What the uh, cooldown is on them. But I just now realize we have four. I don't need any of those. Let's do the damage increase from... Actually, let's up the critical chance to 20%. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, 75 damage. Alright. We're about to summon the last round on this level. Can we make it to level five? I don't know, but we're gonna need a health gem to pop up here soon, probably. It's just almost becoming impossible to avoid damage here. Oh god. We should take Behemoth? Uh, I don't know. If we can find a, uh... Oh, there we go. Didn't really give a shit for more health, though. Went from 10 to 29. But I guess it was something. Oh! Let's right back into an AoE. Uh, 
Let's go back out this way. See if we can break this. Probably not. We're close though. Alright. Last one for this level. Can we do it? Alright, we did it. Attack speed is fine. Okay, we got 24 health, one revive left. Let's go try level 5. Whoa, 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 my god. Came fucking running at us. I'm, I'll be. Oh, and it healed us. That's really nice. Okay, so it healed us to full health. I didn't realize it did that. We might have a chance. Might. Very strong on the might. Oops. I did not mean to. Honestly, maybe we could just start I don't know. I don't want to skip active skills. What, what if we find something we really, really want to swap out? Another staff skill or something. So I don't think, actually, I don't think we're going to find anything at this point that we want to swap out. We've got everything we would really want. So let's, let's go ahead and skip those. Um, let's do, uh, let's do block power. We might also, oh my god, I keep dodging into poison. We might also need um, some increased, increased movement speed at this point because they're just so much faster. Uh, first, uh, let's do, um, let's do cash frequency plus 90%. I did say I'd like to get it to 100%, so... What level are we? We're 112 right now. He's about to die. There we go. I can't grab that stone yet, though. Ah, there we go. Got it. Uh, let's do area modifier plus 45%. Pretty much just keep taking this guy in circles. Oh. Um, we'll take lots of cast plus 60% chance. This wave. I kind of try to always keep the uh, aim on the boss. Even if I can't necessarily see him, I just try to kind of guess because, uh, especially with our area so, so much larger now, still hitting him, which is nice. Here we go, cast frequency 100%.
Uh, let's go ahead and take that. Damn, 54 damage right there. Alright, he's close. I stopped dodging into this damn poison everywhere. Oh, okay, we grabbed it. Nice. And we're already ready for the next wave of Lords of the Fallen. Or Lords of the Void. At least the Fallen from uh, Midnight Suns. Mm, let's, let's take movement speed this time. It's definitely helping out. Yeah, look at that. We can we can uh, get around most of these without having to dodge if we don't get trapped by something. Oh, didn't get, didn't get past that one. That one hit hard. Oh, trying to show off. That's what I get. All right, let's grab this. God, the frames. Help me. Help me, frames. Um, I'll yeah, we'll take battle stance. Here we go. Let's grab this health. There we go. Didn't give us much, but something. Something better than nothing. Okay, got that one. One left for this round. Oh my god. Help me, frames. Help me. Oh, so much XP over there. Ooh, now that'll affect all of our skills plus 30% damage on all slam skills. But then we got all slam skills. Extremely helpful. Let's grab this crystal. Took that one out. That's surprising. Um, let's take expansive plus fifty percent uh, area of effect. That one's almost dead. Should be dead now. Yep. Perfect. Okay, one left. Oh my god. That one's rocking right into fire there. Not smart of me. Oof. Ah. Okay, um... We haven't got anything for Shockwave Totem yet. Let's do cast frequency for uh, expansive staff or whatever that one was called. Alright, got him down. We're at level 120. I would, yeah. I really, I didn't even realize. I'd really like to see some um, passives for Shockwave Totem at this point. Just 
guy's fast as shit now. Oh. Alright, we're halfway to a level up. Right, got him. Um, plus hundred twenty percent cast frequency, gotta take it. Gotta take it. Ah, Jesus. Their cast is so fast now. It's like I can't. I can barely, I, I really don't even have the ability to really walk much. We're not doing a lot of damage anymore either. I guess when okay, you know what? I take that back. When 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 it probably shockwave hits him. Or seismic, I mean. It's just taking down a good chunk of his health each time. So I take that back. Oh okay, got him down. Um ugh. We are not looking good in the health department. Here we go, increased quantity of Shockwave Totem. Oh, and it's not legendary, it's epic, okay. Well, we're definitely gonna take that, for sure. Finally gets us to another level of Shockwave Totem. Now, can we survive this last wave Go back, go back, go back. This way. Oh my god, this way, this way. Got a ton of shockwave totems right there, so that's good. Oh, that just killed us. We're on our last life. Alright, can we survive these last two bosses? I hope so. It'd be a shame to die right at the end of level 5. Be a huge shame. Ah, okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good. Halfway dead. We're also halfway dead. Okay, not good. <laughs> um, make some room in between us and all those damn enemies. Come back to try to take this guy out. Now, what do we got? Cast frequency or area modifier or max health? Um. Uh. I think cast frequency will be best for now. Just trying to do as much damage as quickly as possible to finish this off. He's, okay, he's done. Got one more here. All right. All right, he's halfway dead. I think we're looking good. We're looking good. Oh, right into 45 damage. <laughs> I jinxed it. Alright. Come on. 
Yeah, we got this. We got this. As long as we don't run into a huge... Yeah. We got it. Alright, that's level 5 done. Um... Honestly, we can probably leave. We could keep going, and we could probably maybe win level 6, but I feel like we should just head back and start... Oh, oh wow. There we go, a new achievement. Yeah, what did we hit here? 105. Highest progression with curse, current curse intensity 600%. Nice. 28,332 enemies. 90 lures of the void killed. Yeah, that was a awesome, awesome run. So let's go check out his skills. Oh, and we got another room for... Uh, we got one more point in uh, rune capacity, which is cool. I didn't know that that could happen, so that's got to also be something new that they've added. Uh, all right, so skill tree. Yeah, so this is the base skill tree that affects all characters, and that's what you originally have unlocked. And I've got everything here upgraded, and for a while this was all that was available, was just this these skills. And then they started adding additional skill trees per character, and now, I mean, it's just... I wonder if I use the mouse, I should... I mean, look at all the... Skills. Crazy. And then it keeps expanding. I mean, it's nuts. So, alright, let's go to the Monkey King. Alright, Twilight Harmony. The Monkey King may now follow the way between black and white, day and night, finding balance by collecting orbs of energy which can be used to create powerful clones to fight- Yep, so there's the uh, special skill that he has. So that'll add a whole different set of damage modifiers for us, or, you know, a whole additional damage bonus right off the bat. Um, increases additional- or Increases damage modifier by an additional 1%. Definitely upgrade that. We've got 40,000 of these blue gems. And then, yeah, once you get to the last level, it'll take a different gem. So this one's the red. So, cool. And reduces all damage taken by one while your health is below 40%. Very nice. Increase the damage modifier of your day clones by an additional 2%. And what's this, night clones? Increase the attack speed of your- oh, no. Okay, I see. Take that. Night clones, there we go. Take that. Take this. What do we got next here? The following rune. You have three less skill slots, but all damage you cause is increased by 80%. It costs three. Uh, that's honestly nice. If you can get the right three skills, I guess, that might be useful. Critical damage modifier. Cast frequency. Health regeneration. Maximum health, armor power, and see, yeah, all these skills are, are useful um, most of the time. Increase the duration of your clones by 24%. Okay, what's this? Every time you cast a skill, you have 10% chance of gaining prowess. It's not bad, I suppose. It's expensive, but it's not bad. What's this one? This rune is increase the number of death protections you have by one, causing any attack that would kill you to restore your health to 50% instead. Okay, so that basically gives us a third revive off this off the bat. And that's an uh, that's a all right rune if you're going like the the you know um, curse intensity six or seven or whatever. Movement speed by an additional 10%. Once I cast modifier, always worth it. Increase the er damage modifier of all your skills of type Earth. Oh, this is applied to all of your characters too. That's a, that's a, that's cool. Um, that increase critical damage chance. Okay, and we're running out of uh, <laughs> we're running out of gems here. We can't really afford much else at this point for his skill tree. Um. But that's okay. And I think that's the only one that we have. Let's go back to the to the main. If we can. I don't know if we can. I don't know how to go back to the main thing. Oh, here we go. B. Yeah, I don't think any of our other characters have any points available right now. We've used them all. So, yeah, there we go. Um, 
Cool. So yeah, all right. Um, this is almost going on two hours now. That long was extremely long, but it was a ton of fun. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you hadn't uh, seen this game before, hopefully I, I put you on a, a really fun and really good game. The, the dev support is, is great. Like I said, the, the updates are, are, are a bit slow to come, but when they do come, they, they typically adjust a ton of stuff uh, for the better always. I don't think there's ever been a, a negative update for this game that's come out since its release. So yeah, hopefully I put you on if you haven't seen it yet and if you had maybe you had it uninstalled and didn't see the news that this major update released um and maybe it'll get you to jump back in and check out all the cool new new uh fixes and reworks and and pretty much complete rebalancing and reworking of the entire game so i appreciate y'all hanging out uh if you like the video please take a second to hit that like button so maybe it'll get shared with somebody else who can find out about this game and experience it as well hope you all have a great rest of your day and i'll see you next time